Hi once again. Now um, we have introduced the concept of using if else in Excel VBA, uh, which is uh, quite simple so far. If a single condition, but we can actually evaluate multiple conditions in if else. For example, if you are tasked to write a VBA program that helps Jack to determine if he should buy the shirt based on the criteria below, okay. So if the quality of the shirt is good or the price is less than fifteen dollars, then Jack will buy it. Okay, so this is a we can use the if else to do this, but if this condition or then another condition. Okay, so this is using multiple Boolean conditions to evaluate. We can do or, we can do and, and um, things like this. Okay, so how do we do this in Excel VBA? Okay, so go to our code editor. Okay, we create a new method for this thing and then uh, record by shirt. Okay, so first we have the we have a couple of variables to determine something. Okay, first we have the variable uh, quality. Okay, to store the quality of the shirt. Second, we have variable to store the price of the shirt. Okay, now so variable quality of shirt. Quality of shirt. Okay, this is a probably a string. Okay, where we want the quality to be things like um good, uh, poor, average, and we have another variable price. Okay, and this one you have a double type since price can be have decimal places. As you to input quality, quality of shirt. Okay. User input, input box. Okay. Enter quality of shirt. Okay. And price to be input box. Okay. Uh, enter price of shirt. Alright, okay, so so far this speaks. And remember the problem. The problem is if the quality of the shirt is good or the shirt is less than $15, then check the pirate. Okay, so if quality of shirt is good or the price is less than $15, then we'll buy it. So I do if, okay, quality of the shirt, okay, equal to good. Okay, so this is the first condition. Second is we have to put all of price okay is less than fifteen okay then okay message box budget okay else message box phone budget okay and then we have to end the if statement and. Let's buy. Okay, so buy shirt. If quality of shirt is, uh, let's say we put uh, poor. Okay, but the price of shirt is only ten dollars. We will buy it, right? Okay, try again. Quality of shirt is good. Okay, good. And the price of but is expensive, hundred dollars. We will buy it. Okay, but if it's a poor and it's expensive we don't buy the shirt okay so what we are evaluating is we are evaluating condition one and condition two together with a all okay we can change this to an and okay that means it must be both this and this then we buy the shirt okay so if it's an and okay if it's good Okay, but it is expensive, we don't buy the shirt. Only if it's good and it's cheap, less than $15, dollars, then we buy the shirt. Okay? Of course, uh, we can have more end conditions and then more conditions over here and so on. Okay? But this is just an example. Alright? Of uh, using multiple conditions in uh, if and else.